What's up everyone? Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Today we're taking a look at VeChain and its recent price action and make sure to watch the video till the end for a price prediction for the short and the long term as well. First things first, please smash the likes, subscribe and hit the bell icon. YouTube is not pushing crypto content out currently and our subscribers aren't getting notifications. So make sure to join our free Telegram to stay up to date with all of our videos as they are posted. Links in the description. It really helps if you hit the like. We're posting four videos per day, so come back every day for daily updates and analysis. And make sure to comment down below for your chance to win a hardware wallet in our new monthly giveaway. We'd also like to thank you all so, so much for your support. We've just hit 10k subscribers, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. This is not financial advice. Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Let's begin. What's up guys, so just before we begin, we're just letting you know that YouTube is currently censoring our content from what we can tell. Our reach to new viewers is officially down around 80% lower than what it was one month ago. So make sure to hit the like button now, just give it a little tap for us right now, it'd really really help us out and it just lets more people see our content. So if you want to support the channel, please just tap that like button now. We've just hit 10k subscribers as well, so thank you all so 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 much for your support, we really appreciate you. We make daily crypto videos, so make sure to check back every single day or join the free telegram in the description to get updates of every video being posted as well. So you need to hit the actual subscribe button, which is the all notifications on the bell. So hit the sub button and then go ahead, hit the bell icon and hit all notifications. Otherwise, you won't receive our um, notifications about our channel because clearly the subscribe button isn't enough anymore and you need all notifications turned on to even have a hope of a chance of seeing our content. So do make sure to hit that bell icon and set them to all or you won't see our content. But with that all being said, let's take a look at VeChain here. As we can see, over the past few days, what we've been seeing, seeing for most cryptos is that we are for forming somewhat of a uh, ascending triangle here. Obviously, if this is the case and we did see a nice little breakout, our target would be looking something like this, where we would be looking up to around uh, 11, 12, maybe even 13 cents uh, for a V chain in the next few in the next few weeks, which would be obviously be really nice to see. Uh, we have actually been stuck down here for quite a while, haven't we? We've essentially just been ranging, you could say, between this 15 to 16 cent level and this seven uh, this seven cent level, as you can see. So quite clear that we've just been uh, rolling over and rolling over for VeChain currently, and we are stuck still under this resistance we've been stuck under here for some time. As you can see, we've touched this many times, and uh, it does seem as though we are pretty much stuck under this resistance and have been for a good while here. I mean, you could potentially say that the resistance is more like something like this. And we are, we are potentially uh, seeing the breakout retest and then ascending triangle as well, looking for a nice little breakout to the upside. But um, it looks more or, more or less like we're still stuck under some resistance, aren't we? We need to see a clean breakout to the upside really for VeChain and most cryptos. And it does look as though Bitcoin is reaching that point where it's going to make a little decision if it's going to go up or down in the short term. And uh, obviously that's going to affect what VeChain does as well. But from what we can tell, as we said, ascending triangles, they have a 70% chance of breaking to the upside. So we've got a good odds here in our estimation. If this is an ascending triangle, that we're going to get a nice little break to the upside, hopefully with a good amount of volume. Because recently we've seen really low volume in the crypto space, haven't we? Some of the lowest volume that we've literally ever seen uh, in like the last year or so. I think the volume overall was like 60 billion, which is nothing. Bitcoin over the weekend was the weirdest thing. It was just trading sideways almost completely like there were there were literally minute and five minute candles where there were almost no orders put in so really really low volume recently but from what we can tell we're feeling pretty good about v chain i mean we could probably say that this is the resistance couldn't we if that was the case we would be looking at a nice little breakout retest retest the bottom of this uh up uptrend line and then hopefully the breakout and the breakout target would be as we said probably at least this 11 10 11 cent mark into this channel here into this area something like this and then little move to the upside would be really nice. So quite clear that um, VeChain has been stuck under resistance for a while here and we have been just trading downwards and rolling over and rolling over, haven't we? But pretty obvious um, in our opinion, considering how good this project is, its fundamentals are absolutely insane. We're probably going to be seeing a nice little pickup for VeChain pretty soon. And as we said, uh, we've been looking at, you know, basically the channel that we've been trading upwards in for most cryptos over the past, uh, oh my God, my lines. Basically, a channel that we've been trading upwards in for essentially the past um, the past year or so, almost the past two years, really. I mean, ever since March twenty uh, the March twenty twenty crash, we basically formed this channel from what we can tell. And as you can see, uh, we've been highlighting this in a lot of videos. But because we're so oversold right now, and we're getting close to the bottom of this channel, the last time we were this oversold, 
we pretty much touched the bottom of the channel for the March 2020 crash. Had this nice big move to the upside, recovered in the next preceding, what is this, three or four months. And then we started ripping to the upside again. Got very, quite overextended here, very overbought. Obviously came back, back tested twice. This uh, trend line that we did adhere to here. Then obviously another big rip to the upside. A lot of people were saying that VeChain was dead and buried here at around one cent. And then obviously we went all the way to 28 cents here. And now we're just having another correction. Like this is perfectly normal in a bull market and perfectly normal in the crypto market. Obviously things are very, very volatile. Um, and a lot of people probably aren't used to this, but as you can see, I mean, it looks as though we're pretty much mirroring what's happening here. We've had the big run up and the, a nice little a nice little move to the downside. So and we've had another big run up and now we're having a nice little correction, finding previous levels of support around five cents. And I mean, there's no reason to suggest that we couldn't just chop it sideways here for a little while, get the pick up on our EMAs, which we probably will, and then uh, get that move to the upside. So obviously what happened here was we, we started chopping sideways. We touched the bottom of our uh, trend line here. We got our flip bullish on our daily time frame of our EMAs. Let me just zoom in, zoom in here so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, we basically got our flip bullish here on our EMAs. And then since then, we've obviously been on an absolute tear. And then obviously now, as you can see, we're under our EMA still on the daily time frame, aren't we? We're struggling to make any headway. You can see quite clearly that we've been stuck under the 20 EMA. Essentially, ever since we had this big collapse, we came up and tested the 55, but we got rejected. We've been getting rejected off of the 20 for this whole time here. But it does look as though we are coiling in between this point of resistance here around six, uh, six or seven cents and obviously the 20 EMA. So if we do get the break up target here, if this ascending triangle, which we could be seeing here, then potentially we could be looking at getting above the 20 here and maybe even above the 55. And then if we could start reclaiming these EMAs here, chopping it sideways, chopping it sideways, and then maybe starting to see something like this, where our red EMA is coming down, our 20 is coming up. And if we get that cross again on the daily time frame of our EMAs, if we can see that nice little break to the upside for VeChain and other cryptos that we could be looking at here with this ascending triangle, if we could break up, hold it as support, hold it as support, get that flip of the... <clears throat> the flip of the EMAs, the 20, the 20 and the 55 on the daily time frame, just like we did back here. Um, let me just go and get this again. Just like we did back here, as you can see, we chopped it sideways, chopped it sideways, underneath our 20, underneath our 50. But then we started to pick up here, got somewhat of a uh, ascending triangle again. As you can see quite clearly, <laughs> well, you can't see it clearly because I've got so much stuff on the screen. Let me just get rid of this. So as you can, as you can see here, we've got this ascending triangle as well. Something like this where we're trading upwards, making higher lows, but we're stuck under resistance and all of a sudden flip of our EMAs and boom, got a very nice little move to the upside. So currently in the early stages of potentially something like this happening again here, as we said, if our 55 does start coming down, we get a pickup for VeChain here, which does bring our 20 up and we do get that bullish flip of our EMAs on the daily time frame. We could be looking at, you know, starting a nice little fifth wave, you could say, of this bull market where basically we've got one, two, three, four, and then we're going to get our fifth wave here, which could potentially see us coming up to around this $1 level. So in our opinion, obviously in the short term, things haven't been so great for VeChain. We've obviously had a really, really, really big correction recently. But in our opinion, in the long term, probably going to see a very, very nice VeChain price prediction in the next year or so. So as we said, if we do see a break upwards here out of this kind of pattern we're forming for most cryptos, do anticipate that VeChain is probably going to come up to around this 10, maybe even this 11 or 12 cent mark somewhere in this area here. And uh, we could be looking at potentially on our daily time frame a nice little flip of our EMAs, but a quick little look at the weekly time frame here so we can confirm that we're not in a bear market. As you can see, we're still holding the 55 as support very nicely here. We're just stuck between the 20 and the 55 here currently, aren't we? Uh, but I mean, looking at all the other time frames, we could potentially be looking at a nice little pickup for the price action. And if we got above that 20 EMA on the, uh, on the weekly time frame here again, I mean, pretty damn bullish for continuation, so. Nothing to suggest that we're in a bear market right now, guys. As you can see, we're still flipped bullish on our EMAs. But our EMAs are still looking strong. We're still holding our 55 as support. And I mean, until we started losing that and rolling over, we wouldn't be looking at a bear market in our opinion. So, um, I mean, things looking fine for VeChain. No problems. Lots of people calling for a bear market, which we just don't see right now. And uh, I mean, the price action hasn't been that great recently, obviously. But I mean, things are starting to look up. We're starting to look a bit, le a bit less oversold. If we look at our daily time frame here, we have been very, very oversold recently and we are forming nice divergences all over the shop. So, I mean, in our opinion, things looking pretty good. Still making higher lows here, you could say. Things starting to bounce and get a little pickup. Hopefully we can start 
seeing some upside out of these, this area here and then we'll be golden. So it seems more likely than not that we're going to get the pickup soon for VeChain from what we can tell. And if we do see this uh, ascending triangle play out, we are going to see a nice little rip for VeChain in the short term. So obviously in the long term, as we said, um, we do think if we get that fifth wave, basically looking at something like this, we've got our A, B, C, D, and then we get that E wave. That's looking like a similar impulse to these previous ones. We will be looking at potentially this $1 level, which we have been looking for. That's that golden um, target, isn't it, for VeChain? And then we did think we do think on the overextension, we do have the potential here to be going into two or three dollar territory with the blow off top as well. So that's our update today, guys. We'd like to thank everyone for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please let us know down in the comments section below. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can keep up to date with all of our videos. Remember to comment down below and be subscribed to enter into our brand new monthly giveaway for a hardware wallet. If you'd like to support the channel more directly, please sign up to our Patreon via the link in the description below or sign up to YouTube membership by hitting the join button right next to the sub below this video, where you can get access to our private Discord. We're offering coin calls, one-to-one -one access to us personally, insight into our personal portfolio, daily research of crypto assets with massive potential, and access to our brand new 100x portfolio. With so many benefits, you might as well check it out below. Don't forget to get two free stocks with Weeble by signing up and then depositing $100 using our link in the description below. You can quite literally deposit the $100, get your two free stocks and then withdraw the money. So there's no reason not to do that. And they could be valued all the way up to $1,600 each. But don't forget to actually deposit as well after signing up. Otherwise, you won't receive the second stock. Scammers get worse every day, so make sure to protect yourself and your crypto online with pure VPN. Sign up below for some big discounts. You can get access to block content and protect yourself from phishing scams with super low monthly payments and high quality speeds. You can also sign up to our free Telegram via the description as well. All the links are in the description for affiliate links for discounts and free crypto, so go check them all out below. There's plenty of goodness on offer. Please like and subscribe. We are Crypto Maximalists.